I was actually born in the same house my mother was born in, my grandparents' home. By the time I went to school, it was hungry. All at once, everyone had to wear a star, a yellow star that said that they are Jews. We had to leave our home. Someone walked in and said that this is not your home anymore. This is not your city anymore. This is not your country anymore. The people who were in our home said, pack up what everyone can take within a small suitcase and you have to move to something what's called ghetto, where in a few blocks there are only Jews living. All at once a train, a wagon train, stopped that used to carry merchandise and families were pushed in that train. We didn't even have room to sit, every one of us. The people who were old and sick were sitting and we were standing and taking turns to sit. The doors closed on us and never opened for four days and four nights. But we didn't even see the daylight because the windows on these sinks are very small and high. And we shared food and we shared water. We had very little air. It was not a funny way of traveling. I remember as a child I was looking in the grown-up's face. I wanted to see some hope, some security. Well, it wasn't there. The names of the city that tall people could read. Instead of Hungarian, it became Polish. And of course, some people knew exactly what that means. And after four days and four nights, the train stopped. I remember looking up and that was the first time I saw SS soldiers. It was very early in the day. It was a gray day. All the SS people were screaming at us. And they were some Jewish people who were already there before, maybe even two, three years, who kept on telling us, put the children in your grandparents' arms. And of course, no mother would do that. But they knew why they were saying that. Because the mothers were still young and maybe they will survive. But where are we? We didn't know. All we could see for miles and miles is bad wire. Men and women were separated. So now I lost my two brothers and now I lost my grandfather. We were lined up five and five and five on the higher place stood a tall, elegant SS officer who later in life I knew that that's Dr. Mengele. And as 
five and five came in front of him, he pulled out one of each five. In our five, I was pulled out. I have no idea why, and one minute I was surrounded by my loving family, and the next one I found myself alone in Auschwitz. I was 15 years old. You know, how can you miss that when you go out to the toilet in the middle of the night, and you look look up and the flames from the crematorium reach up to heaven and you can smell the human flesh burning. For people to know that is important.